Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our Final Fantasy play. Alright, so let me look at me. Um, we're all level 5. We have room for one third level spell with Doc and Tim. Well, I, I shouldn't say room for, I mean we can hold three, but we can only cast one. Still, that's pretty impactful. And we just got our ship. So what I'd like to do is see if I can actually do anything noteworthy with my ship or not. And here we are in the ship, already getting attacked by a shark. Um, let me just talk about the ship for a moment. I love the ship. I love how it moves faster than you do on land, or at least it feels that way. And I love the music on it. I'm a huge fan of it. It's where I make most of my money in this game fighting the enemies that have the chance to drop a bunch. Um, lightning works so well on these guys. Wow. And if Hunk's going to just do that, then we're totally fine. And see, so that shark gives you 66 gold and 66 experience, which is pretty good. All right, so... Um, all right, another shark. I don't think I need to use lightning every single time. Um, although, it's not a bad idea. Let's just see how this goes being conservation heavy with our resources. All right, we did a pretty good amount of damage. And if he's going to be so nice to us and attack Hunk, then we say, thank you, good sir. So our objectives now are making enough money to get better equipment and spells, leveling up so that we can get chop off of nunchucks and into the bare hands. Now this little stretch right here, um, this is like my patented spot that I love to go up and down with my boat to try to find the, oh, I can't remember the name exactly. It's like Kazuma or something like that the gold-carrying pirates. This can be a very tough fight because the odd eyes can paralyze you, uh, and you certainly don't want that to happen. So I'm going to really, really focus on taking down um, these odd eyes as fast as I can. The Sahagan actually hit harder, of course, than the odd eye, but... Um, the odd eyes effect is just so deadly. All right, well, looks like I was a little bit overzealous. They don't have that many hit points. So let's just put it all into um, one and then split over here. See how this goes. Okay. Well, maybe I overestimated these dudes altogether. I'll tell you what, though. The thing that's tough about the C is that you can get a full screen of these guys um, and it turns ugly. It's one of the main reasons why you really, really are excited to get Lightning 2, so that you can just cast it on the full screen of these dudes. And it's basically just a free battle. Alright, so I just like to go up and down with my boat. And then over and down. And see what we get. Now, if I had the canoe... I could use that, but I don't. Alright, and see, you get battles like this. They're just big bummers. But, that's alright. See, and if they're doing this, which is just, you know, not attacking Hunk, then we start taking damage. Alright. There we go. This should do it. Glorious. Finish him off. Doc. Oof. Doc. I needed something a little stronger there, but it's okay. There we go. I think the first thing that's going to happen is we level up. That's a bunch of money. Like 600 gold here. Not bad. You know, 
I mean, knock on wood, we're doing okay. Let me go over and just start pricing out how expensive things are. I believe, yep, here's the town right here. Um, this is the port for the next town, and you can see the clearing in the forest in the lower left corner. Excuse me, to the southeast, I'm sorry, southwest, that's where the town is, so we just go over here and see what's up. Oh, it's the elf town. Oh boy, this guy doesn't want to talk. Save our prince. Yes, we need to get the herb. Okay, so they sell you some pretty amazing stuff at this shop. First of all, the silver sword is ridiculously strong, and it's a must-have. Um, the iron nunchuck, it's not a must-have, but it will make life easier. So I'm actually going to um, get out my documentation materials here and take a look at what kind of improvement some of these items would afford. So, first of all, can what can the Black Mage use melee weapon-wise? Alright, so the Black Mage can use... Um, the large dagger and it's only a very slight improvement on the small dagger that he has it's only a two damage difference but that's still pretty good he can also use the silver knife which is not on sale here now the white mage can use um the iron hammer, but not the iron staff. Who could use the iron staff? Well, surprisingly, the black belt can use it. And the fighter can use it. The ninja can use it. And that's it. Must be like a quarter staff or something. I don't know, but it actually has a huge damage. It's 14. But the... Iron Nunchuck are 16, so they're stronger. So there really is no upgrade here for the White Wizard, damage-wise. Interesting. The Silver Sword, by the way, is a 23 damage swing up from the 15 from the Short Sword. It also has a 15 bonus hit percent. So, anyway, long story short, what it means we're going to do is buy um, Iron Nunchuck for uh, Chop and buy the Large Knife for Tim. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust our weapons. And then we can sell these. Not make very much money, but... Whatever. It's better than nothing. Although only just. Alright. Now let's check out the armor shop. And the spell shop. Oh, okay. So they have fire to... Hold, Lightning 2, and Lock 2. Um, and these are 1,500 gold, these spells. So that's quite the substantial investment that these elves are asking for, but those spells are so good. What's up, dude? The prince must wake soon, or the dark elf will dominate. Well, we don't want that. Um, okay, and let's see what they got here. Okay, so they actually have some good stuff. So they have wooden helms and caps, as well as an iron shield. All right, so the copper bracelet is also pretty good, but it's very expensive. Um, 
Let's see here. Who can wear the cat? Pretty much everybody except the black belt. Um, but the cat gives you one block, which is fine. Who can wear the wooden helm? Probably just a fighter. Yeah, just a fighter and a ninja. Okay, well, the wooden helmet, we'll buy that. What about that iron shield? How much better is it than um, the wooden shield? And it's double, okay. So we can buy two caps, a wooden helmet, and an iron... Uh, we can't afford all that. But anyway, we can buy one cap for Doc and buy another cap for Tim. And then I am going to actually buy this wooden helmet for Hunk. Oh. Well, let me see. What does Hunk got? Oh. Huh. He already had a cap. I don't know when I got that, but... Interesting. Well, I got an extra cap now, because... Unfortunately... Oh no, Chop can wear it. Huh. I think there's just typos on this. Um... Yeah, this definitively says on the... Documentation that comes with the original Nintendo game... That the black belt cannot wear the cap, but here the black belt is wearing the cap. So, um, I, I think there's just typos, and I bet the instruction manual that um, someone on Reddit was kind enough to link to me, and that you can get through the NES Mini, the documents are up to date, where these these might have some mistakes. For example. My documentation for the spell Lamp says that it restores hit points, and it just does not do that, at least that I've seen. So I think that might be just another instance of a, either a translation issue or a typo. Okay, so we've got a little bit of money, but not enough to stay at this inn. How much is this inn? It's probably a hundred, isn't it? Yeah. It seems like the elves would charge you a hundred. Alright, let me go in here and just get the story, get the lowdown. What's going on? Astos put the prince to sleep. Please save him. Astos, huh? Without warning, Astos attacked our castle. Our prince was laid under a curse and our treasury ransacked. Aw, oh, man. The treasury? But I was hoping to ransack that. Oh, he's asleep. For five years, the prince has slept under Astos's spell. Only Herb can wake him. My god, five years? I love how the people in the town are like, please save the prince. And I'm like, oh, it's all urgent. I mean, it is urgent, but there's still an uproar about it. It's been five years. It is said that there is a witch who has herbs. I believe that her name is... Dot, dot, dot. Matoya. Yes, Matoya. I know where she is. I'll go talk to her. We'll get your prince. So this is our next mission. Fine. <laughs> Alright, so we get this kind of like difficult battle here. Um... Let's keep our eye on this, but we should be okay. Right, I'm going to try to put some people to sleep here. And by people, I mean wolves. Alright, that worked out okay. That was a good hit there. Thank you for attacking Hunk. 
I appreciate that. All right, so I think we can just kind of um, do something like this and be okay. I really needed a huge hit right there from Hunk. But they're doing such a nice job of continually attacking Hunk. Thank you. Ah, oh, man. Our, our people, though, are not sealing the deal. Come on. You guys, you're better than this. You know that you are. Oh, my. Wolves are hard to hit. All right, there you go. One down. Come on. All right. Now it's getting a little bit... I can almost breathe again. That's a good hit. Yeah, it's getting scary. Oh, good God. There you go. Come on, Doc. Put it down. Thank you. All right. I think we're okay now. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm going to speak too soon. Here we go. 105 experience and 100 gold. Pretty good. Ooh, and we get level 6. All right. I don't think Doc's going to level up, but everybody else will. Man, look at Hunk with 160 max hit points. That's pretty darn good. Chop, 110. All right. Oh, no, everybody gets up a level. Great. Ooh, even Tim bounced up to 100 hit points. My goodness. That was terrific. Um, I think we probably use one of our tents right here. Well, let's use Doc's magic and cure chop and Tim and then now I'm going to use a tent just to save the game because I can't I can't lose right here alright and I'm going to cruise back home I'm calling Provoca home for some reason but really what I should be doing is just sailing around the ocean and going to rest at um, Canaria because it's the cheapest inn. Alright, let's see if this works. That did not work. That did work. Oh, God. Yeah, see, that's what happens. That's what happens. See, Chop, this is why you have to hit. You can't just miss. Alright, well, we, we at least resisted that. Alright, let's win. That's not winning. Ooh, Hunk's up. He's like, I've been cured. Terrific. Alright, so here's our port. So what I like to do is just go all the way down and all the way up. Right into the port. Just hoping against hope that we get the pirates. And we can, like, luck box into some spells. This is not the pirates. This is the say hags. Alright. This game gets so much more manageable if you can just put a fighter in the number one slot with some serious armor. Nice. Nice critical hit. That's what we need.
Mm. All right, man. Chop, I'm I'm so disappointed by what's happening here. Well, we got it. We got this. Not a problem. Glorious. You know what? Those guys are... It's a slow fight, but 180 gold is nothing to sneeze at. I think I'm going to quickly just... Um, save the game. It's only th 30 gold, and I can get my spells back to just expedite some fights. It also locks in 329 gold. There's so many times where um, I've died with gold. And I just cry about it. So I, I like to save the game a lot to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, here we go. Kizoku. That's what they're called. Kizoku. This is it. Now watch this. This is only three of them. All right. All right. So we killed one. Lightning. Will, well, it actually doesn't do that much damage. Okay. Um, let's just finish this guy off and this guy. And hopefully this does it. Ugh, chop. The nunchuck are just so bad. Alright, here we go. Boom. 360 gold. So they give you 120 gold each, right? Um, so now we're already up to 689 gold, which is ridiculous. So all you need to do is really just get a few screenfuls of those guys, and you can afford all of these uber expensive items in the elf town. All right, shark. We're gonna take you down. All right, so let's just look for example. Um, no, there's gonna be no example. Hunk's gonna win. All right. We are, what, six level? Um, nice. We get we still only get four first level spells, but we get three second and two third, so that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and um, see how much damage Chop can do, how many hits Chop gets, and how much damage. It's really almost more the hits than the damage itself, um, because that's what makes the Black Belt insane, is they just start getting like 15 hits by the end of the game. M the multiple hits are what help the attack. All right. Mm, I think sleep will save us more health. All 
that. So 16 damage from Doc. Hunt kills one. 18 damage. Okay, so Chop just did 18 damage where we were doing around in the, in the low 20s. Um, and that's one hit. So maybe my recollection of 10th level wasn't the, the right level. Maybe we can do it a little bit earlier than that. I'm not sure if that was a lucky strike or not, but that was a pretty good hit. Yeah, eight damage. Boy, it's variable, huh? Jeez. Forty-two is a good hit, dude. All right, there we go. Uh oh, jeez. Don't go after the dock like that. All right, we should be straight to just finish them out with melee here. There it is. This is gonna actually pay us out pretty well. It's a lot of enemies. Yeah, three hundred and thirty gold right there. Nice. How much gold do we have? 1,085. Terrific. Let's just cruise back. And I'm going to save it so there's no funny business. Like I said, I'm a very cautious player. But all it takes is just a few quick strikes to the wrong person. Um, and things can go sideways. Look at that, 38 damage. Alright, Chop, maybe we're there. Maybe we are at the point when we can swerve away from the nunchucks. And I made a mistake even purchasing them. But that's a happy mistake. I can sell them and get 100 gold. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh boy, we're missing. The thing too about switching is the accuracy is just so much higher with the, the fists as opposed to the nunchucks. That's why I switched off, just to test, to see how close we were to going bare hands, and we are 100% in the right spot. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. We're going to get lightning too here, everybody. This is what you dream about. I mean, you honestly dream about, you really dream about nine of them, but this is so good. Honestly, see if fire does more damage to these guys than lightning. Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah, fire does do more damage than lightning. It's interesting. Hey! Now you stop that. Don't hit my man. thought for sure Chop would finish that. Oh man, what a terrible round. Ugh, I just completely mismanaged that. Alright. Let me erase my huge blunder there. 
Uh, I'm going to do this just to see if we can avoid a bunch of damage. There we go. We're going to town after this battle, so it doesn't matter. Much better, much better. Well, I spoke too soon, but you get the idea. Oof. He tried to sneak in a hit on the mage there, that ain't right? Yeah, I mean, so I guess the idea is the damage is okay and the accuracy is okay, but there aren't multiple hits yet. That is 600 gold. Alright, so here's what we do. We're going to use Doc to uh, patch up our most wounded warriors. Like that. And we're going to sail into town. And just... We're going to try to take Elf Town by storm. We did. We just kind of cruise over here. And we immediately gobble up with Tim Lightning 2. And now we can mow down foes at sea and expedite the process of making cash for everything else. And we save the game and we say, happy day. All right. Well, everyone, I think this is a perfect place to stop. We have acquired some new small pieces of armor, some small weapon upgrades, but most importantly, Lightning 2 and 6th level. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. I'll check you in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. Take care.